Hey guys, it's Ash, and many of you guys have been asking for attack strategy videos on Clash Royale. So I'm gonna start off with some great content for beginners. In this video, I'm gonna share one of the best beginner decks revolving around using the Epic Witch card and show you guys a lot of attack strategies with this deck. Basically, you have the Witch, and the specialty of the Witch is her splash damage. She's not very strong, but she does splash damage, allowing her, her to eradicate hordes of troops such as goblins, skeletons, archers, barbarians, and so on. She can quickly take them out. And she also summons skeletons. And she has a great range, 5.5 tile range, so you want to combine her with one of the best tanks, shielding troops in the game in the giant. Uh, so the giant is going to provide shield, so you have a combination of splash, you have a shield, but you're lacking in point damage, you're lacking in a strong point attacker, and that's why we're going to combine it uh, our witch and giant with the musketeer so if you have the giant in front of your witch and your musketeer then you have a very deadly combo this is one of the deadliest combos for any beginner deck is the witch giant and musketeer combo if you can manage to place all three of these cards down then your opponent is going to have a very difficult time countering you. Now even though the witch does splash and controls hordes, she does cost 5 elixir and it's very important that we have more splash inflicting cards so we're going to definitely use the fireball and arrows to control those smaller hordes as well as weaken the other troops. And then we're also going to couple our giant with more ranged troops that are of low elixir cost in the spear goblins, archers uh, that can attack behind the giant as well as the knight which is also a pretty decent tanky troop who's gonna also provide shield for your other low elixir troops. So even though we have high elixir troops in the Witch, Giant, and Musketeer, we have another combination with the Knight and other lower elixir cards that are ranged attackers that can attack behind the Knight in the Archers and Spear Goblins. So now I'm gonna show you guys some attack strategies with this deck. Okay, so here I'll be battling against Jake, who has the Baby Dragon card, and I'll show you guys how to counter that. Simply use the Knight and then Archers behind and your Spear Goblins. So the Knight is very low elixir cost, and as you can see, those Archers have quickly taken out the Knight. He used the Fireball, and uh, he was able to kill my Archers and Spear Goblins there. But that's fine, as long as I manage to remove that Baby Dragon threat, and I'm still at the lead. For elixir here he's gonna send out his giant unfortunately I don't have a support troop so I'm gonna send out my musketeer first but now I have the giant and now I can combine my giant with the musketeer as I have a loaded elixir bar he's also gonna do the same thing but what we're gonna do is we're gonna use that fireball he placed his musketeer right next to his tower so that was a bad idea as that just allowed my fireball to quickly take out his here I'm gonna use my musketeer uh, well she, she was already there to remove that uh, bomber I'm gonna support her with some archers behind, uh, see if I can deal some more damage here. And there we go, we removed his first tower. All because of that big mistake in placing that musketeer uh, next to his tower that allowed my fireball to take the musketeer out and weaken his tower. Now I'm gonna place my knight here and then I'm gonna support my knight with, uh, looks like he sent out barbarians on the other side so it looks like I'm gonna have to focus on the other side now. And now I'm gonna use the giant uh, shield my witch and the tower and distract his baby dragon and barbarians so as you can see while that baby dragon is distracted by our giant our spear goblins and witch are gonna quickly take it out and now we can focus again our attention on either the king tower or the tower on the right the king going for the king tower is gonna be very risky it has a lot of hit points so in, instead of going for the king tower we're just we're just gonna focus on the right side now those minions were already weakened so we're not going to go for it. Uh, we're going to have to now use our archers with the knight here uh, to keep that giant away from our tower from dealing any damage. And as you can see he's not focusing on the right side on stopping our... Uh, our musketeer so she did a lot of damage onto his tower so uh, that's the risky play of switching towers you don't really want to switch around so again we have a loaded bar we're gonna send out our uh, musketeer and then support her with the knight in front and on the left side he has a bunch of troops clumped together not really what you want to do never clump because that's what's gonna happen we're gonna send out our fireball and take them all out uh, at once 
and now we've managed to take out his second tower and now we can go for the king tower because we're at a big lead right now so we're gonna combine our giant with the musketeer and the combo with our witch and that's gonna be game time over so good game thanks Jake okay now we're up against Lidrin and he has the prince so I'm gonna show you how to counter that so we have a starting hand with archers giants we're gonna start off with our giant here as he's gonna shield and then couple him with our musketeer behind as he has some goblins and that knight so our musketeer while the giant is shielding is gonna take care of that now he has a prince right here so we're gonna use our spear goblins here to to stop the prince from charging into our towers and then finish it off with our crown tower our are arena tower and the knight dealing damage now he has some barbarians we're gonna first let them clump together right here and now place that fireball awesome took his barbarians and goblins out at the same time with that fireball now he's gonna send out a goblin barrel just gonna have to use arrows right here and that's gonna take care of that now we're at the lead by a small margin uh, both of his towers are weakened but the tower on the left is a bit more weakened than the tower on the right so we're gonna focus on the more weakened one we're gonna finish that off first first load up on the elixir now we're gonna place our giant right here uh, he has a knight coming in from that direction we're gonna try to ignore it uh, by placing some small low elixir card troops on the left and then on the right we're just going to use our musketeer to remove that knight he also has some goblins so we're going to send out our spear goblins right onto his spear goblins and uh, as you can see on the left he also has barbarians uh, but our giant still made it through now we're going to use that fireball to remove those barbarians and uh, looks like he sent out his knight on the right but it's weakened uh, looks like we don't have any troop we don't have any archers or spear goblins to, to take that charge so we're gonna have to use our knight uh, in this case now we're gonna use the archers right here as that uh, prince is dealing some damage the prince is a very difficult card to counter at the lower arenas uh, as a beginner but once you get better cards like the tombstone and uh, other cards such as skeletons and uh, better defenses as well you're gonna be able to counter that now we're gonna use our spear goblins to take care of his and then we're gonna use the musketeer here and on the left we're gonna use that fireball on those barbarians again and again now he's gonna send out his prince so this time we're gonna use our archers stop that charge and then send out our knight and that's gonna kill his prince so that's great and on the on the right uh, he's attacking from both sides so um, we're gonna ignore the right side because that knight is pretty weak so our arena tower is gonna remove him now we've loaded up on the elixir on the left and gonna summon our giant and then combine it with our witch and also gonna try to combine with the musketeer awesome we got the combination and there's almost nothing he can do now to stop our combination from uh, wreaking havoc so he did send out a horde of barbarians and goblins but watch our witch do work She's gonna remove all of those hordes while our musketeer removes the higher HP unit like the knight he sent out there. Our musketeer was able to quickly take it out. Uh, here we're gonna use that fireball and again we're gonna now send out our giant and combine it. He's still gonna try to use that prince on the right uh, but we're gonna use the spear goblins and then the knight combo and we're also gonna finish off those goblins uh, with some arrows and then combine our giant on the left with archers the archers are going to take care of his skeletons we're going to try to send out our musketeer here now uh, the musketeer is going to remove his knight and that's going to allow our troops to now deal more damage on the on, on the right he sent out his barbarians and goblins so another fireball on the clump troops we've taken it out and we've won on overtime great match Slidrin. thanks Okay, now I'm gonna face Dem and he's gonna use the Skeleton Army. Now, if you're facing anyone that's using the Skeleton Army, then you're already uh, at an advantage because the Witch completely eats the Skeleton Army alive. Uh, so here, he's gonna send out Archers. We're gonna send out our Giant on the left. And then now we're gonna combine it uh, with Archers behind the Giant. He's gonna have some Barbarians and Archers. We're gonna use a Fireball onto that clumped Barbarian and Archer group. And that's gonna totally take them out and uh, looks like he sent out his knight here we're not gonna send out any troops we're gonna allow that knight to come closer here now we're gonna couple the arrows onto the goblin barrel and the knight took them out both awesome and uh, here loaded up on the elixir again we're gonna send out our knight who's gonna support our let's see we're gonna send out our low elixir spear goblins couple them here 
and he's gonna have a giant right here so we're gonna have to send out our uh, musketeer and now look that horde of skeletons so we're just gonna use our witch here and that witch is gonna totally take out all those uh, skeletons very easily so as you can see we already have all our troops safe here he's gonna send out our uh, barbarians not a chance against the witch and her splash damage and now let's see um, he has a knight and we're gonna send out our other knight again here to go and try to support our witch and musketeer as uh, now we're dealing a lot of damage we're gonna load up on elixir we're not gonna play any we're not gonna play too recklessly here uh, as we've taken out the first tower awesome now we can now focus on the right tower uh, we're not gonna try and play reckless here and go for the king tower because it is it does have higher hit points but it looks like he completely ignored it uh, but that's okay we're gonna send out our musketeer on the left and our spear goblins and we're now going to place that arrow couple the arrow uh, to deal damage onto the spear goblins and the giant at the same time and there looks like his barbarians are feeding off our giant so we're going to use that fireball uh, take out his barbarians and they're pretty much weakened we can just let our arena tower here finish it finish them off now we're going to uh, send out our giant on the right we're going to couple our musketeer on the left with some spear goblins to take out that giant uh, no point in sending our musketeer in front of our tower because we can now have our tower uh, shield for the musketeer and the spear goblins there now we're gonna couple that giant with our witch so if he sends out those barbarians our witch is gonna do deal splash damage and she's gonna be able to take them out uh, in the matter of seconds Looks like time's running out, and that's gonna be it. Victory. Well played, Dem. Thanks. So, hope you guys enjoyed watching this and learned a lot. If you did, be sure to hit that like button and also subscribe if you haven't, because I'm gonna have a lot more strategy content uh, for this channel on Clash Royale. So, thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys again later.